going to pursue the kingdom. And if we are going to follow leadership. Yeah, oh God. Yeah, yeah, the whole problem we have. We, we have too much individualistic in the body. So, so when you don't come because you are the praise and worship and your voice is melonious. I am not excited about your melonious voice. Melonious voice don't send the anointing or break and destroy yoke. Michael Jackson had that. Oh God, help me. The church mess up. Mess up. Be be because we have now been promoting gifts. Talents. Are really not consecration and faithfulness. Oh, nigh, no, he's shy. Get quiet around here. I like it this way. Can oh, you yeah, listen? Consecration. My God, and start fear God and love God and love your neighbor. You, you see, we we, we we good with the vertical. That's vertical. We, we excellent with worshiping God. But when it comes to me and you... But when God time, oh, no, don't want to talk to me. Oh, oh, some of you don't want to talk to me up in here. Huh? If you get it right this way, huh? you must get it. Oh, Shia. Huh? And right now, there are people sitting down right in here. Nothing vertical. Versus prophet on the floor. You you stay home, you're sick. Because you hear what people think. They think you and the preacher has to be body body. I don't have, you don't have to be my friend. If God send a word to you, how come I receive word? But but you don't like prophet or you don't like who is preaching. So you stay home. Then you talk about your pursuing kingdom. <laughs> oh, nobody not saying nothing in here. Oh, somebody need to open up your mouth and say something, man. Israel, Israel, Israel. God, I feel you. H had a problem. Israel had a problem. They had a problem because they believe in royalty. Anytime you see in the Bible mention, when the Bible says a certain man, and never mention his name, it means he's not important. He's not important. But when he said blind by Timaeus, the son of Timaeus, it is telling you now that I am blind, but I'm somebody. Oh, you miss it. I'm blind. Somebody, you, you you are now seeing my family background. You are seeing now my family background. And Israel had a great deal. Israelite, when it comes to their genealogy, my God, and their background, and their pedigree, and everything, everything about them, even when they pray, they pray in culture. They say the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's how Israel was very royal. Israel. But imagine how they were shocked when the king of glory background was revealed. They start out well in their genealogy by, by, by announcing the patriarchs. They say, they say, they say, Abraham, and, and their chest went up. Oh, yes, Abraham. Oh, God. Abraham, the, the man of faith. They will associate with Abraham because things are happening for Abraham. Isaac. What was the promised seed? Oh, yes, Isaac. 
Jacob, my God, they will associate with these patriarchs. They say that Abraham produced the seed, and they say that Isaac passed the seed, and they say that Jacob multiplied the seed, and they say that Joseph delivered the seed. They say that Moses saved the seed, and Joshua established the seed. But what was strange, they named all the patriarchs and they left out the matriarchs. They, 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 they left out Sarah? You, 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 mean, you mean Sarah? How could you leave out Sarah? Because there couldn't be a seed without Sarah. I'm talking about the prejudice of Israel. And it's even in the church. Who's shy? Oh, it's going to get rough in here. Ha! The prejudice. My God, they are looking for your pedigree. And if you're not from a certain stock, you can't preach. Rebecca. Rachel. How could you? Forget these matriarchs uh, and watch this. Uh, in the midst of all of that, the Holy Ghost, the root. Oh God, oh God, some of them miss it, you know. Huh? Let me tell you why you miss it. Huh? You don't read Bible. Huh? Because if you ever read the genealogy, oh God Almighty. Huh? You see a whole lot of you don't read when you see the names in the Bible. You leave them out, text is not important. In the midst of the genealogy of Jesus. He, the Holy Ghost right on root. You mean root? The Moabite? The Moabite? The old class? You mean root who worship the sun God? The same root. Ha, my God Almighty. They said, no man, oh yes. Bo Boaz had a little problem and, and root just went in and covered cover, uh, cover his feet and, and something happened and they tried to play around that and the Holy Ghost said, Tamar! Oh God, I wish I was in the Oh God. Ha, hallelujah. Ha, and when the Holy Ghost, you know who is Tamar? Ha, Tamar was a girl that dressed up like a prostitute ha, when she could not wait on her husband. Ha, and she got Judah. I'm talking about Judah. Ha, the same one that you love. Oh, Judah. Ha, that same Judah. That they had twins, Perez and Zeva. My God, ha, hallelujah to God. Ha, and the Holy Ghost went up further. Ha, and he said, Rehab. Who? Watch this now. Rehab was in the street. Uka. Ha, she owned the house. Uh oh, some of you are looking at me funny. Ha, Rahab is the woman ha, that men look at when their wives are not looking. Ha, oh, ha, I'm talking about Rahab. Ha, that same girl, Rahab, 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 the harlot. The one that hide it. God Almighty the spies. Somebody need to touch your neighbor and say some dogs is in this. Some dogs. Oh, you know, you're not getting it here. I said there are some dogs in the line. It. You can stay there with your pedigree. I come to the clear. I, 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 I wish I had some help up in here. Somebody open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. And shout hallelujah. Rahab. It went down a little further. Ah, oh, God Almighty. Ha. And the Holy Ghost said, Bathsheba. What? You, you mean that one that David was on his vacation? And he was just chilling. Look over and saw this beautiful woman having a bath. 
my God and send for her. You know what I love about the Bible? When the Bible is telling it, it tells everything. It says, Bathsheba, you riots. Oh, in other words, oh God Almighty, there are some things right now that Almighty God could bring up in every one of us life. And every one of us just keep, oh, I know you're looking funny. That's why I thank God for the blood. Oh, some of you know, some of you know, ready for me. Anybody over here? Thank God that the blood, the blood, the blood. Some of you can't identify with that. I say, I thank God. Somebody better open up your mouth. I say, I thank God for the blood. If it had not been for the blood, good God Almighty, not one of us would have access. But I'm glad, hallelujah to God, that he wasn't thinking about all these lions. He was thinking about a dog like me. Oh, you can't stay there. I'm talking about a Gentile. Oh, yeah. You're acting like you're a Jew. You were engrafted to be a Jew. You were a dog. Jesus, God Almighty, he helped me because I couldn't make it in with my condition. I, I'm sorry for you little cute folks. And Jesus, although he came through that lineage, he ministered, he preached, my God Almighty, and he made a statement, Bishop. He says, I couldn't find great faith in all these lions. All of these lions in Israel. Jesus couldn't find no great faith. So the Bible said he, he saw a man, the, the, the centurion. I'm talking about the man that worship a whole lot of God. The centurion man. And when good God he met Jesus, Jesus, the man says, hear me, Jesus, you don't have to come to my house. All you have to do, oh, yeah, is open up your mouth. And if you speak the word, if you speak the word, my servant will be healed. Hear the problem with you. You don't want to speak the word. You need to touch a person beside you. I say, I speak healing now. Oh, yeah. Oh yes, oh yes. You're looking too quiet around here. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Somebody speak the word. Open up your open up your mouth. Speak the word. And God says, Great faith. Ah, there was a, a woman, the Siberian woman. Oh, you remember her? She came across the border because her daughter, hallelujah to God, was vexed with a devil. You're talking about people that is desperate. This woman, oh God Almighty, he had a problem with us. We're not desperate. You okay? Your bills pay? Your wife all right? Oh, you're not saying anything. Your children doing well. God don't work miracles huh? in this type of atmosphere. Huh? You are too okay. Not desperate. But this woman was desperate. And she was so desperate when she ran upon Jesus, she asked for a miracle. And the Bible said that Jesus answered her, not a word. I have a problem, Mr. Preacher, mm -hmm. with all these people sometimes. Not you, you know. Because don't want you to get vexed. <laughs> with people, not every time you pray, you get word. Mm -hmm. You watch them people. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't have to clap. Every time they pray, oh, I got the word. I, I kind of have a problem. And, and really don't tell me when you got a word and get the miracle. Tell me what do you do when you go pray and God say nothing. Like many of us in here. Pray 
and you hear, he answered you not. Talk to me, man. What do you do when you go to pray and God don't talk to you? <laughs> and you pray again and he don't talk. Bless be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you pray again and him don't talk. Oh, Shama. You're not desperate, man. Ha. That's why people backslide. Ha. Because God don't talk to them. But I, hallelujah to God. Ha. But I love this woman. I love her. Let me tell you why I love this woman. Because, hear me. I'm happy that she's a woman. Because a woman will find a weak spot. You see, you ladies are uh, telling you, sir. You'll find a weak spot to get whatever you need. Come on to these men. They're not talking to me. It's all right. They will. And this woman found Jesus' weak spot. And let me tell you, she bowed down. I don't like the clapping. Because the clapping don't help. Because it's not a concert. She never clap. She, oh, Shama. Oh, Lee, Mama, oh, Shai. He, Moshaya. I'm telling you, you know, God won't take with someone with suit and with tie. And them nice things that we have. Because I really believe that the more God give us stuff, we get more proud. Oh, you're not going to say anything. When we had nothing. When we had nothing. And had to depend on God. If you really want God to speak, all you need to do, man. Oh, God Almighty. God say, if I see a worshiper, I will clean my throat. I will talk to you. I will talk to worshippers. Bible said, ladies and gentlemen, that she fell down at his feet and worship. And as she worship him, God dropped this on her. Jesus dropped this on her. He says to her, I am sent to the lost sheep of Israel. And when he said that to her, the woman opened her mouth and said, Help me! Oh, God Almighty. I don't care who you come from. I know you come for Israel. But I am desperate. Help! Some people sleeping under the word. Lord God Almighty. I say, help! Somebody who need, somebody who is desperate. She cried out for help. She cried out for help. He said, it's not meat. Take the children's bread. And give it to dog. And the woman again said, I agree. People don't really love word, you know. The woman, Jesus says, is not meat. And she said, I agree. Even the dogs. Crumbs. From the master's table. It is said that in Bible days, the master, he have a thing named lap dog. When he's eating, the dog is in his lap with his mouth open. Everything that the master eat, crumbs right in the lap dog's mouth. You see you people that sit in church, and I open your mouth, you yeah, miss out the crumbs. You see, you will come sit down and cute. You miss it. You're missing out the crumbs. Watch this. I know that kind of mess with your theology because I know you are the child of the king and you want the whole loaf. But hear this. Everything that is in the loaf 
Oh, you're preaching with me now. All right. It seems like you'll catch it. God of oh, and if, oh, some of them miss it. Huh? Everything that is in the whole loaf, all you need to do is open up your my God Almighty. Where are my brothers? Oh yeah, who shot? God, I feel Holy Ghost in here. And, huh? Somebody open up your mouth in here. Watch this, Bishop. If egg in the loaf, yes. egg in the crumbs, if, if, if flour is in the loaf, oh God Almighty, <laughs> so you can't stay with your whole loaf, <laughs> all I need, oh God Almighty, <laughs> if blessing is in the loaf, God I wish I, I wish I had some brothers, <laughs> I want be radical brothers than that, <laughs> oh God Almighty, <laughs> somebody open up your mouth in here, <laughs> I said Lord feed me, <laughs> I need some crumbs healing. I need some crumbs deliverance. Somebody who need it right now. Open up your mouth and give him a praise. Somebody give him a praise. Somebody give him a praise. Lord God Almighty. I said if you open up your mouth, you'll get some crumbs. Open up your mouth and give him. I really don't know what you're believing for in pursuing the kingdom. I really don't know what you need. Because hear this. You can't force people to be desperate. And if you are preaching to see response down there, might as well you stop. Our people funny. And I can't force you to open your mouth. And many times the person that is sitting beside you intimidates you. Because you want to open up your mouth and shout. But they kind of look dignified and you're saying, oh, and that will mess you up. Oh, nobody not work. Sit down there and give me five, ten more minutes. God, tomorrow is Sunday. I can't take ten more minutes. The crumbs. We need some crumbs blessing. We need some crumbs deliverance. But if I'm going to get it, I have to open up. Because if you are sitting in the master's lap, which is G, I don't know who lap your head. But if you're in Jesus' lap, God Almighty, somebody over here, hey, somebody give your neighbor a high five. Huh? I said, feed me, Jesus, feed me. Hear me. In, in my in my text. In my text tonight, I say, my text, Gideon has a destiny call. God is getting ready to give Gideon the Midianites' kingdom. But there is a thing called preparation for your prophecy. When God called you as a prophet and he give me a word. And he says, woman of God, in the next 10 days, God is going to do something on your job. All you need to do. Kima, Utando, Ayamasi, Lord God. If the Holy Ghost said you are healed. Lord God Almighty, ha! if the Holy Ghost, you, you get the Holy Ghost, yeah? you're speaking tongues. Everybody on this choir speaking tongues. Come and push up your hand, man. Because we are warriors, you know. If you're filled with the Holy Ghost, just lift up your hand. All right. 
You don't have to feel funny. Those of you that is not feel, because that's the problem with the body. Can we really make people feel funny? And if you if you watch the prophet tonight and get desperate before me finish preach. Oh Labo call ya sir. But even before him receive, some of you that have already received, you need double. Some of you dry. Holy my high. Glory be to God. There is no fire. Depression. Frustration. Has locked down your fire. But if you start stir it up. Fire boo. And start hoping up. I'm at no cotaya bahaya. Man of God, you can't fill with your mouth lock. Who shut up? If you open up your somebody better holla glory. I said somebody better holla glory. Somebody better holla glory. So when I was praying, preacher, the minister. The Holy Ghost said, there are some people that will be here, prophet. He told me that the place wouldn't be filled. He said, the right people would be here. Because the people that came tonight has destiny. Lock up. Oh God, I wonder if they hear me. I said, the Holy Ghost, tell me. That there are some brothers in this house, some sisters, uh, some anointed people that in your belly is locked up destiny. He said, Gideon, the things that are holding your back is not a lack of money. He said, Gideon. It's not the city that you live in. It's not the family that you are from. He said, Gideon is the company you're keeping. Mm -hmm. Oh, nobody, nobody not talking to me now. Because watch this, brothers. Whatever you associated with, you might not be, but it's going to flow over on you. If you are associated with homosexuality, you are not, you know. But most of your friends are. I know I don't know why I'm be talking to man, but God, God help me. If you are associated with liars and gossipers, oh nobody not saying nothing in here. Fornicators and adulterers. Whatever you are associated, oh shire. God Almighty, ha. somebody better touch your neighbor and say, watch your company. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, some of you don't want to say anything. Ha. Open up your mouth and say, watch your company. My God, my God, my God. Watch your company. Too many fearful negative people. Too many fearful negative people in God's house. I hear it when you tell me I can't, you see. Oh, oh, prophet, you, you can't. What? That's why I leave world and come to church. I leave can't out the world and come to. Oh, you're preaching. Oh, you're preaching with me, man. I come to I can. True. Oh, nobody not working with me. Ha. So as long as Christ is with you, touch your neighbor and say it's possible. The doctor tell you you can't get pregnant. What Christ say? The doctor say no healing. What Christ say? Nobody not talking to me. The, 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 the economy say you have no money. What the Lord say? Somebody better give God glory up in here. Oh, live a higher. If you know it's possible. So, so you have to cut loose. 
Jonathan and men of God. Negative people. One of the problems we have as men, sometimes we are intimidated by each other. And, and, and sometimes we as men don't embrace each other. We, we run in competition. And I realize that the anointing flow from the head. And if you under an anointing that is headship, something must touch you. Oh God, help me the Holy Ghost. Let me tell you why some of you are not changing. It's because you are not under that anointing. You are a member of the church. They are preaching me. But the anointing that you are under will destroy. Oh God Almighty, somebody shout hallelujah. I said somebody shout hallelujah. So, 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 he tell Gideon, bring them down to the brook. To drink. Carry them, because anytime you want to know a person, watch them thirst. If you see the word ministry, and you send them somewhere that there is no... You're preaching, all them big stuff. And you see them attitude, you know that they are not so desperate. All they want is your pulpit. Oh, nobody not saying nothing up in here. Huh? So everybody's getting jealous and fighting just for this little space.